So, so many times we talk about bouncing back from our failures, but how often do you think about our bounce back from success? So a part of my job is to assist in the amateur draft process. And I was talking to a scout one day and he told me this story about a player that was drafted and just turned out not to be what he thought he was. He was fresh out of high school and was so talented. He just stood out because he made the game look so easy. But after he was drafted, things shifted a bit. He didn't put in a whole lot of effort. You could tell he was really unmotivated and his success declined. It was as if he had reached his goal of being drafted, but hadn't looked much further. In his eyes, he'd already made it. And while it's easy to see why, why some may get discouraged from failure, we can sometimes overlook the negative impacts of success. We set out to lose weight, to finish that project or complete a challenge, and when it's over, we cruise. We become so distracted by reaching our goal that we forget how far we have left to go. And the quickest way to set yourself back is to believe that you've made it. You don't stop working when you get drafted. You don't stop when you land a dream job or close that big deal. You don't stop when you hit a milestone. You start a new climb because every level comes with a different set of demands and it will require a better version of you. So if you're setting out to accomplish anything great, it's important to know that climbing one mountain reveals another. The goal is never to finish the climb, but to master the one directly in front of you.